Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today I have got a $25 first aid stock up from the Dollar Tree. So one of the things that I think is really, really important to make sure you have a good, decent stockpile is first aid stuff. That stuff is so important, whether it's if for just small things that you can take care of around the house, or if we can't get to the doctors or dentists or something like that, and we need to take care of everything ourselves, we need to be prepared for that. So I did a $25 stock up from the Dollar Tree of first aid supplies today to just boost up what we have and make sure we have plenty of first aid things. So it's just a barrage of different stuff and they have lots more there, definitely. They have tons of vitamins and creams and all sorts of stuff, but these are the things that, that I wanted to get added to our stockpile right now. So um, I grabbed a bag of cotton balls because these are always handy and they can be used for fire starters as well, uh, which is great. I love anything that can be used multi-purpose, definitely. We love that stuff. Uh, so, so we don't have to have millions of different items. We can use one thing for 10 different things. I really love that when we can do that. And the next thing I got is this Epsom salt. I think this is such a good deal, $1.25 for two pounds of Epsom salt. Uh, you want to look at them because they have a lot of scented ones and things like that. And the scented ones can't be used in the garden. Um, it's got added stuff in it. So I like the just plain old Epsom salt with no additives. And this is a super good deal. We love to have that. We use it for achy muscles, all sorts of stuff in the garden, everywhere. And then I also grabbed some of the 70% alcohol. You want to make sure which one you're getting because they sell different, um, different amounts. They have a 50% and they have a 70%. And the 50% is not enough to kill germs and things like that. Um, you want to make sure it's strong enough to do what you want it to do. So I buy at least 70 and some of the stuff I buy is the 91%. I usually have to get that somewhere else because they don't always have it. And But if you're going to be making anything where you add stuff to this, um, you want to make sure it's a higher alcohol content in it. Because once you start adding things, it dilutes it. And if you're making hand sanitizer with a 50%, then it's not even going to do anything. So. You just want to make sure you're getting the right one for what you want to use it for. The next thing, I really love these, that the Dollar Tree carries these, and I don't always buy them. I usually buy the big bottles, but I love these little spray bottles of peroxide. These work so nice, and you're not wasting peroxide. You don't have to dump it on a cotton ball and saturate it, and then you use hardly any of it. Um, or pouring it down your arm or leg or wherever you're putting it. If you want to put a little on a cut, usually it's like flying everywhere. This is just a direct spray. You use way less. And I like to keep a couple of these in the house and then I refill them with the big bottle. So these are wonderful. And they also, sometimes they have the rubbing alcohol in there in the spray bottle as well. So those are nice, but I didn't see any this time. And then I grabbed this pack of Aquarella antibacterial wipes. Always good if you've got to clean up someone's cut. You want to make sure your hands are clean. Um, if you don't have gloves, gloves are good to have in your first aid kit though. Some people, you know, you might run out of them. You want to make sure that you're clean, they're clean. We, you know, you don't want to cause any infection or anything like that. And then I also got another of the wrist support. I like these because they are completely adjustable. They Velcro on and they're, I have hurt myself numerous times. Uh, I'm pretty clumsy sometimes on things that I'm doing. I've sprained wrists, sprained ankles. We like to keep plenty of ankle, knee, and wrist supports. So if anyone has a problem, these work really well. And it just kind of helps hold everything together. If you don't have that, a nice wrapped ace bandage works also. Or a t-shirt or whatever you have. I like to get the braces. That way I know I have them and I don't have to really think about it. 
The next thing I grabbed is witch hazel. I love having witch hazel. Hazel, it's an astringent, perfect. You want to make sure you can keep things clean. Um, it helps with all kinds of skin issues as well. You can make your own products with it. Um, we like to have a good amount of witch hazel in the house. Definitely. Let's see, what else did we find? Oh, this is a pain relief pack. It is a hot or cold compress. You can throw this in the freezer so it's nice and cold all the time. It can be heated up in the microwave. I believe there's um, instructions on the back. Uh, you have to do it in small intervals to heat it up, but these work wonderfully for those sprains and issues when we have them. I swear, the older we get, the more issues we have. <laughs> it's crazy. And then I grabbed a pack of these. It's 10 gloves, one size fits all, clear vinyl gloves. Just to have extras in the first aid kit, we want to make sure that we can protect ourselves, protect other people, um, keeping things clean. You want to get covered in stuff. You want to have some gloves if you can. And of course, they will run out eventually in a long-term situation, but having them to start will be wonderful. And the next thing I got is the alcohol prep pads. We love to have these on hand. You get a hundred in here for $1.25, super good deal. Um, any of the first aid stuff, we really want to make sure we have a good wide variety so we can take care of whatever it is that happens, whether it's a teeny cut or a big gash, you know, we want to make sure we can take care of that. Let's see. Also, oh, I really love these also. It's a self-adherent wrap. It sticks to, it's kind of sticky, sticks to itself, but it doesn't really stick to the skin. So these are really nice. So if you have to wrap anything up, if you didn't have a wrist brace, this works wonderfully. And these are great for your pets as well. We have purchased vet wrap in the past, but these are so much cheaper and it is the same exact thing. So it's just a stretchy type of, like a stretchy thing, you know, <laughs> like an ace bandage, but it's kind of sticky and uh, it just sticks to itself. So you don't need clips, you don't need pins or anything like that. It just works really good. <clears throat> and the next thing is nasal relief spray. Allergy season is definitely here. Um, it's good to have those things on hand in case you have to be outside doing more things than you're used to doing and you start developing a reaction or finding out that you have a problem that you didn't have before because you just didn't do that kind of work before. So making sure we have all that kind of stuff is important. And then I found they had the wound care kits in again. I love these. These are probably one of my favorite first aid things from the Dollar Tree because they come with everything in there to cover wounds for $1.25. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. You get a little roll of tape and two small rolls of gauze. And then you get a bunch of gauze pads from two inch all the way up to four by fours. And there's just all kinds of them. And I think there's four of each size in here. Yeah, four of each size. And so you can cover all sorts of wounds. And that is going to be something that every, I think everyone should get these if you see them, because I love how much you get in here for the dollar and a quarter. It really is a great deal. And uh, so I love adding these to our first aid supplies. It gives me a nice variety of things that we may need. And we have had instances where we needed them. So <laughs> definitely make sure, even when you think you don't need it, you really may need it. The next thing I got, I found this little pack of, it's just 12 caplets, but it helps kill the bacteria um, that causes diarrhea. It's from, pep, it's Pepto diarrhea, um, just to help stop diarrhea. If you get any kind of parasites, things like that, it can definitely cause diarrhea and diarrhea can be deadly, we all know that. So making sure we have these small things, it doesn't have to be a large amount, but having some on hand could be a lifesaver 
in a situation where you can't get to the doctor or you don't have anything else that's going to work. And uh, another thing that can happen definitely is if you are changing your diet from your regular everyday fresh food that you normally eat and if we get in a situation where we are all of a sudden eating wheat berries that we don't normally eat and we're eating a lot of them or a huge change in diet if we go only to the pantry and we have nothing else you're going to want to have some laxative because when you have a huge diet change like that it can definitely cause problems where you get stopped up you can't go to the bathroom if you go too long it can cause septic it can be horrible so making sure you have stuff to induce you know have laxative so you can induce going to the bathroom and also having stuff so you can stop if you need to um, you're kind of not going to use them both at the same time, hopefully, but you want to definitely have what you need. Another thing that we really like that they carry is these Absorbine patches. These are wonderful for achy muscles, sore muscles, things like that. I love these for our go bags and things like that. Um, because they're so small, you can just slip them into everything. You can stick one in the glove box, in your purse, in your emergency bags, um, stick them everywhere. They are great for you pull a muscle or anything like that, especially if you're not used to gardening. All of a sudden you're down on your hands and knees digging around in the ground. You could definitely have some sore muscles. I do every spring. Every spring. I'm like, oh. <laughs> me <laughs> and uh, the next thing I got is the liquid skin this is great for small little cuts and scrapes and things like that don't really want a band-aid on it or um, you don't really need a band-aid but just kind of cover it over and protect it this works great it's kind of like a little super glue but it's made for your cuts and I love that they carry that that stuff is pretty expensive at the other stores um, you definitely, I've never seen it for $1.25 anywhere else. And then some extra gauze pads, it's a pack of 10, which is great. And just making sure we have plenty of everything in our, our first aid kits is so important. And then I also grabbed the cotton rounds. We love the cotton rounds. These are just like your cotton balls except they don't leave all that fiber behind, especially if you're cleaning a wound or something like that. Um, I notice when you use a cotton ball, there's like strings hanging out of the cut and you gotta pick them all out or they get dried in there. This doesn't do that as much, so we really like these for that. And again, they make a wonderful fire starter. So, so one of those dual purpose items. Love me some dual purpose stuff. And they're good for all kinds of things also. And uh, I grabbed a box of the Flexible Fabric, the Care Pack brand. These work really good. Um, I like the fabric ones a little better than the plastic ones, but you know, get what you can. And uh, not every store has the same stuff. And our store uh, sometimes has fabric band-aids and sometimes they don't. So it's, you know, hit or miss. If you need them, get what you gotta get. But um, I try to grab the fabric ones when I see them because they do stick a little bit better and they don't fall off quite as much. And that is it for my $25 first aid haul from the Dollar Tree. We just want to make sure we've got all those gaps filled and we've got everything we need. If we have to take care of everything ourselves, we want to be prepared to do so. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!